Reducing stormwater runoff, particularly in populated areas with a lot of impermeable surfaces like roads, parking lots, and rooftops, can have a significant impact when it comes to reducing water pollution. It's particularly important when cities and towns where the storm and sanitary sewers are combined, cities like Charleston, where the DEP recently held a series of rain barrel workshops. More than two dozen people turned out at Charleston's Capital Market to learn about rain barrels and how to install one on their property. Uh, rain barrels are great because you get free water. You don't have to pay for it. It also isn't stripped of any of its minerals, uh, so plants really like it. Part of what my group does, the Watershed Improvement Branch at DEP, is we work with stormwater uh, education also, try to educate the public on what stormwater is. So we use these rain barrel workshops as an opportunity to kind of get people together to talk about stormwater. And then we also put together a rain barrel so that they can do their part to help um, eliminate some stormwater pollution. And, as if to emphasize the point, it started raining. A lot. In every city, it's an issue because we have so much impervious pavement. Um, any, any asphalt or concrete that you would find in a city, uh, anything that is setting on top of that, so oil, grease, uh, litter, cigarette butts, all that stuff, it gets washed down into our storm drains and straight out into our rivers. The DEP has been partnering with the city of Charleston on these workshops for the past several years and they continue to grow in popularity. They've been really good. We're, we've been full. This is our fifth year and we have been full for the past four years. We've added workshops throughout the years. This is our biggest number. We have six this year and they came out full. So we have been really lucky. Charleston's been really receptive. We try to make it really fun. We try to make it really casual. Um, and we try to pump a lot of information into people and empower them to be environmental stewards in their own community. So we hope that they take the information that we give them and they go home and talk to their neighbors about it and people at their church or their 4-H group and try to spread this information so we can get everybody collectively working towards this issue. The advantage of having a rain barrel as far as it applies to stormwater is every little bit of stormwater runoff that we can collect or kind of keep on our property helps reduce the amount of pollution that that stormwater picks up and carries to drain inlets, pipes, and therefore the river. A rain barrel of this size, which is 55 gallons, will fill up in about eight minutes. That shows you how much rainfall we get in, a, in, our, you know, in our environment. And just catching a little bit of it can go a long way. It's also good for you, good for your plants, and it's free water. You can follow the DEP's Watershed Improvement Branch on Facebook. The City of Charleston's Stormwater Program also has a page. There you'll find all sorts of tips on things you can do to help reduce water pollution.